When working with large designs, the visualization of the design can become confusing due to the enormous amount of data. By isolating parts of the design into smaller sections, you will improve productivity and eliminate potential errors in interpreting the design. In the clip volume topic, you will learn how to create sectional clips, manipulate clip views, and how to create a drawing from a clip volume. A clip volume is a method to limit the amount of geometry displayed within a view. Only the elements within the clip volume will display and can be snapped to. Each view can have a different clip volume applied to that view. In the clip volume section, open the design 05-fountain.dgn. Let's navigate to the clip volume tools located in the view clip section of the ribbon, clip volume tools. They are also located in your view viewing tools under open as toolbox, clip volume tools. When you select clip volume, in the tool settings window, there are numerous ways by element, uh, by just two points, or a polygon. What we're going to do is strictly work with the sectional. When you click on section clip tools, then you have the ability to section along the top plane or parallel to the top plane, parallel to the front plane, or parallel to the side plane. Let's first select the parallel to the top plane. Select it, read your prompts, select a view. It takes the center of the view and makes a sectional cut through the plane. The sectional cut can, is represented by, a, by this plane you see here plane can be turned on and off via this tool show hide clip volume and this tool would delete the clip volume you can have one clip volume per microstation view if I then use the element selection tool and select the clip volume I then presented with these various blue handles and a little green arrow which allows me to show where the sectional cut is being taken. The blue handles. We'll take a blue handle and we'll move it. As we move it, it dynamically reduces the size, but in the reduction it's actually making a cut through the right side. Or the front or any other side. If I select the arrow and it is easier to go into a orthographic view such as a front view of an object and there's the arrowhead and as I move the arrowhead, let's move it up and then we'll go back to a right isometric view and you can see that we have a different sectional cut plane. If you do it sometimes in the actual orthographic view it's a little harder to realize where your your position. It's easier to look directly head-on into a front view. To delete the clip volume for a specific view, simply go to Clear Clip Volume. Click on the screen and you're back to the original water fountain. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. 
If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.